Hello, family, and welcome to the Good News Feed. I am always in my kitchen, so I'm going to feed you the good news. So let me tell you some good news. Now, listen, I love a good cup of tea, but what I love even more is when my honey is infused with the flavors of tea. So I bought this raw honey from Zach and Zoe. Dot co and it you know you go to the store and they say uh wildflower and lavender infused no no this has real wildflowers in it so much so i was like man what's going on i just thought it was infused but it's not the wildflowers are actually inside the honey and also infused with lavender so let me tell you what i do with this i take some water hot water put this inside and then I have tea. I just strain the wildflowers because I'm not about that life. I'm not getting flowers. I grow them. You have followed me on social media. That's what I do. And then I strain those flowers and honey, it's tea you can drink. So with that said, we have some tea today. Tea you can drink, not spill, and not get burned. I have my new family members with me, Heather John and Baxter Jackson. Welcome. To the Good News Feed. <laughs> What's going on? Hi. I, I am so happy to have you here on the Good News Feed. This has been an amazing 14 days. To me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's been wild. It's been fun though. It's been yes, it, so. How are you all feeling two weeks in? The, the the photographs went wild. Nothing I'm sure you ever expected. I mean, the photographs, like, that's one thing. But we've, we've learned how to separate, like, social media from, like, us and learn to, like, know each other. But, yeah, social media, that's just, like, that's, that's just on the phone. You know, that's just, that's as far as that goes. I it's mean, like the we, icing on the cake, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's, I mean, but kind of, it's kind of icing on the cake, but it's just, you know, that's, a, that's another, that's another part that we have out there. But we get to know each other, too. We're getting, like, more and more comfortable around each other. We're not strangers anymore. Not strangers anymore. I'm glad you said that. So Heather, can you tell us a little bit about the project for those of you who've been living under a rock, who don't know Heather John and Baxter Jackson. Heather, tell us about the project that brought the world and you together. Yeah, so basically there was an ad on Facebook um, from Cassie Bailey, the photographer, and Baxter and I both responded to it, having not met each other or the photographer ever before. Um, with the intention of going to this field, I reference it as the wilderness because it was like really <laughs> It was crazy out there. <laughs> but seriously, um, we had we had never met each other or knew nothing about each other. All I knew about Baxter was that Cassie said that he was cute. Ah, Her exact words are he he's good looking, and he was wearing. <laughs> okay, okay. I like, I like, I like it. it. I like that. <laughs> You, and that he was going to be wearing khaki shorts. Um, so then we and uh, we met each other. We got out on the field. Um, we started jamming to some music. Insert a little spider. And then it was just like everything just kind of fell into place. And, um, you know, the photos. <laughs> and, and those photos are amazing. We're going to take a look at a couple of those photos real quick from the first photo session. Because if they are not in the hive, and we'll talk about the hive. If they are not in the hive, then they're missing out on the treats, okay? Yeah. So let's take a look at a couple of those photographs and let's talk about the fun that had you had there because we have a question from Carissa Campbell about those photos. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. okay. <laughs> so here, here's what I noticed um, with with my my journalistic eye. There was a buildup um, from definitely op from openness to closeness. Open meaning I'm open minded to this project. We're strangers, but then you manufactured, as Carissa says, you manufactured. That was her her question. Her, her her question dealt with manufacturing a connection. So Carissa Campbell out of Maryland wants to know how did you manufacture a connection? How did it blend so easily, so seamlessly, so flawlessly. It just happened. Um, like, it's been asked, we've been asked um, before, like, what did we expect from the, to get from the, um, the, the photo session? 
I expected nothing. I had no expectations. So when we went out there, we literally just had like such a good time. And so to manufacture is to make, and we didn't make anything, mm. it was just there. It was just like. <laughs> the tea. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it was just there. So um, we didn't really have to do anything. We just like dance around and just all of the laughs and like stuff that you see on the YouTube videos so far, like that was literally what we did in the photo shoot. That's real, that's real laughs. <laughs> that's real. So it's, it's important for us to laugh in this time where everything is uncertain. We have no idea what tomorrow is going to bring, but you brought us joy in those photographs. Baxter, uh, you're, you you have the signature um, comment whenever you write on your page, you say, okay, boom. So what was your okay, boom moment when you saw <laughs> Okay, boom, we're doing this. That's how you know you're going to tell a story. You're going to really say something real if, you know, if that goes on. I want to know the answer to this. What, what? You know the answer to what? My okay, so boom moment in the picture? Yes. Ooh. I mean, there's a, there's a few of them. Like, when I, when I first seen her, when I first, like, when I first, let, like, realized that's who I'm going to be taking a picture with, that's what I was like, you know, because at first, I was I wasn't expecting anything either. I was gonna, either way, it doesn't matter what, whoever would have looked like, we were gonna have fun in the pictures and that's what I plan on doing. But then I seen Heather. Doom, doom, oh, doom. All right, and that's when I was on FaceTime my brother. When I seen him, I felt comfortable. I was like, okay, so boom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this photo shoot. And that was it. That was kind of it, you know? That was, that was, that's the boom. That's what hit for me. You and your brother are really close. Yeah, all my brothers that's your really close. Because if she didn't look the way that she did, it would have been an okay, boom, look, we about to do this. <laughs> I had to be like, yeah, I had to be like, all right, boom. So uh, let me tell you what I'm going to do. And, uh, we, 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 Real quick. I don't think they would have went as viral because it wouldn't have been that kind of connection. So I don't think nobody would have seen it. I would have been in this situation. It just, I'd have still made a friend. I'd have still had, you know. Some nice to meet you. <laughs> don't contact me anymore. <laughs> that's, so that's, me, that's me, that's me, that's me. It would have been this way. Nice to meet you. I know that's like, like, just for those of you who don't know, uh, Heather and Baxter did take COVID-19 tests or they, they were tested negative so that they were able to participate. Shout out to Cassie Bailey for um, the, the wonderful eye that she was able to use to capture each of those moments. So we do have another question, also out of Maryland. I like it. Maryland, Ohio, right? so Maryland puts it down. We love it up here in the Crab State. Shout out to the DMV because I have my DC roots as well. So Kenyatta Cook wants to know, and this is when we can talk about, who do you have in your corner to lead you in the direction of continuing to get to know each other and that and building that friendship? Who do you have in your corner? The Lord. Mm. So I got my corner. That's pretty much got me down the path of righteousness and respecting Heather and in all, in all my life, you know, in all my life, not just in my corner for this, but just, you know, in all my life. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. That was a really good answer. Why you shake your head like that? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Uh huh. Yeah. See, look, we're just getting to know each other. She don't know a lot about me. No, I wasn't expecting that. Though. Oh. Leave it to me to bring it out. Well, she done got the happy that tears. That was a good. Oh. No, that was a good answer. Yeah. And that's and that's why we have tea to drink. That is why we have tea to drink. Okay. And so a, a lot of people probably don't know your. Your, your your religious or faith values. And that, that, I think that's important. As a married woman, I know that there's a triangle. It's you, your, your, your spouse or significant other, if you will, whomever you're involved with and God at the top. You know, you move in that direction, you can stay yoked. You move away from that direction, that triangle becomes a real straight line with two different directions. Exactly. Yeah. So, so we are rooting for you. Can you tell us a little bit about that hive? Because I know the Hexter, and if you're not in the know, they are Hexter. The Hexter hive is down for, they're down for for making sure that Heather and Baxter stay, stay connected. So tell us a little bit about how the hive got started. We had no idea. We accidentally found it when we were creating our own shared Facebook. Right. And then we added ourselves to it and it was just like, everybody loved it. And they already had a thousand people They already had, a, they had thousands, yeah. Talking. Thousand people in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally just like a massive family group chat. It's yeah. so great. Um, then we coined it the Hexter Hive. Um, well, that's what they are. Cause like anybody that has any kind of negativity, like you know how Beyonce has the beehive. 
You know, like if you if you come for Beyonce, like they gonna the house gonna catch you. Like they will catch you. The, the that's house. that's when you get burned with the tea. That's when you get burned. <laughs> Somebody will find you out there being negative, and they will shower you with positivity, and they will educate you real quick. And yeah, you know, real quick. Yeah, you and you'll either get with it or get gone. So yeah, yeah, the hive is real. Yeah. List all the places that you've been and where you've been interviewed. There was some hot spots. You, you name my camera. Z104, like their local radio station, um, the Covington leader, or it hasn't come out yet, the leader in um, from where the town where I'm t from in Tennessee, um, Wavy News 10, 13 News Now. Um, what was the other one? Did you make Good Morning America? We did. I feel like I'm uh, no, no, not Good Morning America, not yet. No, we didn't do that. The Insider, there was a Southern magazine, then there was a military magazine. Gail King. Gail King. On CBS this morning with the table talk. You did that. So yeah. next is, is that what we're next? Because Gail and Oprah is like, God, Jesus, Gail, Oprah. It's like Oprah, I Gail. Know, it's how it goes. <laughs> I mean, fingers crossed. You know, no. Why so. not? Look, when the pandemic is over, you can do a little bit more traveling. So um, I think it, it's important that y you have a group of military folks because you are in the Navy. Navy. Yeah. It's a big fleet out there. Norfolk. I'm at the Oceana. I'm at Oceana. Oh, okay. It's still big out there. That's a, That Hampton Rose area is just big on military. And uh, you are pursuing your master's degree. Yeah, I want to be a math. I want to be a. Um, I really want to get my doctorate. Um, be a social worker. Um, love on all the little babies. <laughs> we need it. Trust me. I had a Dr. John at Hampton. Uh, rest in peace. She she passed away, but she was seriously uh, like about her business in sociology. So Yay. here it is. We need a new Dr. John. We need a new Dr. John. So we do have another question. Uh -oh. I'm not from Maryland. Not from Maryland. Maryland needs to take a break. Not from Maryland. So um, I promised Denise Martin, she's also from the Hive, to uh, share her words of encouragement to you because that's what we do. Um, first, she wants to encourage you to continue to keep the lines of communication open and continue the journey by getting to know each other. She wanted to be clear and make sure that I let you know that. So then here's her question. How do you feel? How do you really feel? about the attention that you've been getting? I mean, it's new. Like, neither one of us expect that. We don't want to expect, or didn't expect none of this to blow up the way it did. But in a way, it's a lot of positive attention. And so, like, the, we, and we're trying to spread as much positivity, and we kind of brought a lot of positivity to social media. Because this year has been, like, we, we all know, you get on Facebook. Nobody, I didn't want to get on Facebook for some days because I knew what I was going to see. It's going to be, Something about racism, something about politics, something about COVID. I got so tired of seeing COVID and Corona. I, I'm just so sick of seeing it. And so, you know, for us to be able to come on there and brighten people's newsfeed up with, you know, positive vibes and like nice pictures and stuff, you know, that's the, the pictures are bomb. The pictures are bomb. That's <laughs> she's a go with the pictures, but yeah, I mean, I like that. I like being able to do that. People reach out to us too, and, like individually. And I reached out to you. I was like, we're friends. I don't yeah. know if you know that or not. We're friends. <laughs> You know, they, they tell us, they're like, you know, I was just about to leave my social media, but now I got something I can look forward to. And actually, you know, like, I'm, I'm glad to get on here and see y'all's updates and, like, be nosy in y'all's business or whatever. <laughs> you know, it ain't. You know, nosy, and, and I, as we talk about where people can continue to follow you, I fell out laughing um, when you did your um, your recent post on YouTube and you said for all the nosy people, because it's some nosy folks. <laughs> We some nosy folks. I just I just scroll to listen to see what somebody's gonna ask. I'm, like, I'm not gonna ask. Somebody else is gonna ask, and I'm gonna put it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't mind. We don't mind. I mean, we, we we keep a lot of stuff private, but like the stuff we put out there, so. as you should. Yeah. But, so for me, um, it makes it makes me feel like really happy. Like at first, I was very anxious about it. It was way too much, way more than I needed. <laughs> Um, but there's this book and it's like, it's called like the return to love. And so, um, basically like me and I, me and Baxter are just having fun mm -hmm. and like our smiles and our laughs are making other people smile and laugh. And it, all it really boils down to is love. Like I'm like in the most non-committed like platonic way like we're loving on each other and then we're loving on you and now you're loving on other people and it's just like 
all of this great, like good mushy stuff is now like because of me and Baxter. We're trying to spread that fashion. Yeah. So it's just like oh, my heart, like it's important. My <laughs> grandfather, rest in peace. Oh man, he was he was my first love. And I'm having a really hard time because this is the first summer that I have not had him. I generally go, I spent my summers growing up with him and he would always give me a nugget, boom, a nugget here, boom. And so the one thing when it comes to relationships that my grandfather um, said is that love is spelled two ways, L-O-V-E and L-U-S-T. And you have to choose which one you want. And that followed me ever since he said it. Because it was so important for me to distinguish between someone who loved me because you do not hurt your friend. You love your friend through the good and the bad and someone who's lusting after me. And, and, and I can make an informed decision on is this lust or is this love? Because love is spelled two ways. And which one is sustainable is always love. And it's not always intimacy. It's not always physical, but you know, a genuine um, caring for someone. Right. that um, my dad would always say, I don't say I love you, I say I care. And so there's a genuine, um, if you hurt, I hurt. Uh, my line sister is, uh, just released her book and she was telling a story about another line sister while she was living in one part of the country, she got in her car and drove to Alabama because she loved our line sister enough to say, you need me, I'm there. And so that's my encouragement for you all as you continue building and going up, up upon your journey to you know, always separate the two. And you know the, the hive is going to be add, adding uh, <laughs> whatever we add to the pot. Like, you stay firm as you build that friendship because without it, um, things fall apart. You do not hurt your friend. Exactly. Period. I understand, Period. I understand. <laughs> Period. So I have one more question, and then I'm going to get no. Okay. Crystal, <laughs> Crystal <laughs> Ann from the hive wants. Now, what is the worst and best outcome for you so far? Worst outcome, like a hypothetical, or what has sure. happened? Uh, she didn't. She didn't say, but you can take it how you like. And said, "What is the worst and best outcome so far for you guys?" Hmm, that's a tough one. I mean, I haven't really seen like any worst outcomes. Like we haven't. I haven't seen it yet. You know, I haven't seen any worst outcomes. Maybe because we already. Um, we filter those out and they can't see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, if there is a worse outcome, they, the hives done took care of it. You know, mm -hmm. they, they're like a little mafia. Right. I don't right. Like I like yeah, it's just all the good vibes. Like you get showered out with good vibes. Like all the bad outcomes get taken out. So I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen any bad outcomes. I don't want to pretty much, I don't want to think about too many bad outcomes because I don't want to harbor that kind of negativity. Cause yeah. I'm, but you know what I'm saying? So you have put a lot of miles on my car. <laughs> we have done that. We have done that because she likes to ride. Well, look, that's all we can do right now is ride in our car. That's it. I, that's all. That's I mean, that's that's her office. That's where she. I mean, <laughs> mine too. Mine too. But like you know, we most most of her. But. Yeah, my son told me, um, mommy, I told you not to go out today. It's hot. It's blazing. I'm like, first of all, where'd you learn that word blazing? <laughs> You're four. Where did you get that? Like I told you, we should go out. I'm tired of being in the car. I'm like, okay, let's go, let's go. My kids, um, my kids have started telling me, okay, we can sit here for a little while now. Like, if we want to get out, if I'm trying to get out to pass, they're like, okay, we can just sit here for a little while, right? I'm like, mm, I guess. What's it gonna hurt? <laughs> What's it gonna hurt? So we had tacos. Now I'm being nosy. We had tacos. How does that go? Like for real, we enjoyed our tacos. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That's do you ever not enjoy tacos unless you're at a really bad taco place? Yeah. Some people don't like it, and I don't I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for him, and hopefully they can get a taco that's going to change their mind. Look, a taco can change your life, especially, oh, mm, okay. I'm, it's, Tuesday, <laughs> it's Tuesday tomorrow. Let's just, let's just. It is. Let me get my life together. I need to go find me a chicken, chop it, and make it. <laughs> <laughs> I live near farm, let one cross the road. It is mine. <laughs> like, oh that's what somebody said. Is she, is she a low key farmer? I make my own butter. Oh. Teach me. I got hey, it. Hey, if you want to send some stuff, you know, like you could send, like, you know, stuff that you can actually send. Let me know. I have my peppers growing. I got my lemon tree sprouting. I'm protecting my tomato. I'm telling you, I'm always in my kitchen. Please understand. I told my husband, I said, Honey, if you brought home a bag of lemons, you're gonna get lemonade, you're gonna get a lemon tart, you're gonna get 
icy with yeah, lemon. After, like, I, hey, after all this, after all this, drop your location for your kitchen. We, we, we can pull up and eat there. Look, beep, like, beep. You like, just look for the horses on the left, and then you got me. It's like, hey. Hey, we can pull up over there. My oh. friends, I told them, I said, I just need nine minutes, and then you get what you get. Boom. Boom. <laughs> they just come over, and they leave with a bag. They went to the grocery store. Nah, we'll Look, okay, boom. <laughs> okay, boom. I'm going to be in the kitchen. <laughs> so where are we going? What are we? Where are we going next? Do we have any plans for another outing? Are we going to get out the car and go somewhere? Yeah, I mean we can't. Like, but the thing about me being in the military, like I can't really go and do as much as I plan on and as much as we want to do. But there's also stuff that I can, you know, around that that I, that's safe for me to do out and about. Yeah, you do have to stay safe. You yeah, do have to. It's kind of like spontaneous. I like, I like we how. We're literally just winging it. Yeah, we're not, we don't try to plan anything out. We're just going through just like a normal, you know, how everything's going. And so, <laughs> we're just spontaneous. I like that about her. She's down for anything. Like, you just want to ride? Like, let's just ride. You know, let's go do this. Let's do that. It's whatever. So, we don't know. I mean, we're pretty sure if there's something fun we're doing, we're going to let you guys know and make sure we take a couple pictures. And show you guys but the ones that you are willing to share exactly what we're willing to share with everyone that's right well we sure appreciate you um we're going to close out the show with um some things that i gathered from our conversation and then you can have some last words and then um i'm gonna i'm gonna close out this show with some of those new pictures so the people who haven't had the pleasure will be able to say oh ah uh, yay <laughs> <laughs> My heart is like you know, it's somebody in their house right now, like, honey, why don't we take pictures? Like that. I would do that. You can't. Why, why you don't hold me like that? <laughs> <laughs> start, start arguments at home. Why don't you do that? Like, we ain't trying to do that. Like, like but... that to somebody. <laughs> honey, why you not wearing your clothes like Heather? Like, because they're a hexter. We ain't trying to do that. No, that's to each their own. To each their own. Okay, so this is what I get. I'm, this is my little summary. A little is a hate word, let me retract that. This is what I get. This is my summary of our time together that the Lord directs your path. Friendship first. Right. You nailed it right on the head. Boom. Okay, boom. Hey, boom, got it. Until you can drink. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Any last words before we close out? I mean, you know, just follow our YouTube page. If you want to know anything else about us, we have like a lot of social. If you're not, if you're in the hive, I mean, you should know everything. Join the hive. Yeah. <laughs> follow us on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube was uh, Heather and Baxter J. Yeah, just go subscribe. They hit a little bell. Thanks. You know, you know, I know this in the hive, and I posted the video. As soon as I posted, I went to the hive to post it. Somebody's already right, showed. They, they, they suck, y'all. I'm like, she's like, Jesus. I, I think it was. Uh, I, I forgot it. Fast. It happened fast. Yeah, yeah, they was they was on it. So yeah, that's that's our main spot. You know, we have a Facebook page and everything too. If you follow those, you'll see them. So we have our links on there. You and no pineapples on your pizza. No yeah, pine, no, no pineapples on the pizza, but we don't judge those who do. <laughs> and if you don't know what we're talking about, you need to go and check out their pages. That's right. Yes. Well, thank you for joining the Good News feed. I am always in my kitchen, so I'm going to feed you the good news. And for this episode. We drank the tea. <laughs> Until next time, everybody. Thank you so much, Heather and Baxter. Thank y'all. Bye. Wait, before you go, I have one more bit of tea to give you. And might I say, it is marvelous. So Cassie Bailey called Heather and Baxter back for another photo shoot. And it is a 90s theme and gives me all the TLC vibes. Check these out. And until next time, don't forget to tell a friend. Thanks for hanging out with me again. Until next time, bye.